And I would like to uh, congratulate ICRA for uh, 20 years of um, serving our people. And of course, uh, Dr. Delasco, congratulations. I'm happy to be here. And I'm happy to be in the midst of scientists, environmentalists, uh, researchers, advocates, farmers, uh, NGO leaders, and um, friends in the academe, uh, Dean Vicky. Uh, I would like to confess that my brain trust, unofficially though, are Chancellor Rex Cruz, Dean Vicky, and Dr. Rodelasco. I consult them on many important matters relating to my legislative work. And so, if our good um, MC had read some important legislation that I have crafted, especially with regards to the environment, the Climate Change Act, the National Disaster Risk Production Management Act, many of my privileged speeches, I would like to share the credit not only with my colleagues, but to those people whom I consult. From its inception, agroforestry has been crafted as a combined solution to the problems in agriculture and environment. It serves as a dual function of addressing food security and maintaining a balanced ecosystem. Agroforestry improves forest goods and services and increases productivity. It improves soil quality and enhances the conservation of other biomes. Through agroforestry, farmers' incomes are augmented since cash crops are planted simultaneously with forest trees. This in turn translates to greater access to health services, food, shelter, etc. Further, agroforestry improves the quality of water and air, thus promoting water and energy conservation. Clearly, agroforestry has countless benefits. It is quite a blessing, therefore, that we can turn to agroforestry as an excellent strategy for a climate change response. Agroforestry is a good example of adaptation action to climate change with positive mitigation effects. It promotes cool and good quality environment, which reduces heat stress while reducing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Agroforestry has high carbon sequestration capacity, averaging at 21 tons per hectare for subhumid zones and 50 tons per hectare for humid zones, of which the Philippines is an example. Furthermore, it promotes biodiversity and wildlife habitat and enhances aesthetic and amenity value of lands. The world of the the work of the World Agroforestry Center, ICRA Philippines, is relevant to mainstreaming agroforestry. In particular to Congress, ICRA Philippines is among our sources of good research, which is the best basis for a sound policy. We need the inputs and the technical know-how of experts at all stages of legislation to ensure that the laws we pass are responsive, relevant, and doable. Let me stress on the fact that programs based on scientific research and innovation can change lives by averting disasters, safeguarding jobs, incomes, and livelihoods, enhancing food supply, promoting environmental sustainability, and combating poverty. As ICRA Philippines <coughs> celebrates two decades of undertaking quality research and development on issues concerning the management of our natural resources, the challenge now is to bring this wealth of information to the people. Theories and statistics, researches and studies are not easily understood by the lay people. We need science that speaks clearly. It is suggested that an aggressive information and education campaign be undertaken to make the people understand the problems we have, the urgency of response, and the resolution to effectively address the challenges and the importance of our laws that response is not enough, that rehabilitation and reconstruction should not be only the important things, but pre-disaster mitigation activities are equally important. As the USIED, UNISDR has said many, many times, typhoons don't necessarily have to kill, natural hazards don't have to kill, they only turn into disasters if we are not prepared. And I think the way to go is through agroforestry because people need food and people need protection and we need a buffer for pollution and carbon dioxide. And therefore, it is not only aesthetically beautiful to see trees and forests, we also have a source of livelihood for food. We also have protection from 
the dangers or the hazards of our natural environment. And so, on this occasion, on the 20th year of ICRAF, I congratulate Dr. Odelasco and the women and men behind ICRAF and your many partners in collaborating for a more resilient human society, especially in a vulnerable country like the Philippines. So congratulations, and here's to more work ahead. Thank you.